Today, we are automating a task to draw points from an Excel spreadsheet in AutoCAD. It's not only this, you can connect these lines with little tweaks. I will also show you how to look at it in slow motion too, using the Time Python library, so stay tuned. So we have an Excel file which contains the points with coordinates and we need to draw this into AutoCAD. First, I need a Python file, an empty one, so I can write the code and I need the point data Excel file. I would start by importing the necessary libraries and one of them is open by Excel, so import open by Excel, which will help me to read and write the Excel files. And from PyAutoCAD, our main library, import AutoCAD and a point, which will help me to get the AutoCAD interface and allowing for me to automate the task. Then I would need to initialize the connection to AutoCAD. So I created a variable ACAD equal AutoCAD create if not exists equal true. And like I described before, this will open the AutoCAD software if it's not already open and it will make the connection between Python and the AutoCAD. Then I would need to open the Excel workbook and get the active sheet. So from workbook variable equal open by Excel dot load workbook and I would give it the name of the file point data. Then I need to call the active sheet. So I created a variable called sheet equal workbook dot active now I need to loop through the file so I get every row and draw the points. So to start that loop, I would put four row in sheet dot iterate rows and between brackets minimum row equal two. This will help me start from the second row because the first row would have the header. Now I need to define the variables so I can get the values from the Excel sheet. So I need to know the point number, the X coordinate, the Y coordinate equal row zero dot value. So it will get the value of the row in column zero and will store it in point number. Then the row value in column number one, it will be stored in X. And similarly, the row value in column number two, it will be stored in Y and this will help the uh, these values to be changing for each iteration of the loop. Now I want to create and add a point in AutoCAD. We've done that before. So we need a variable, call it point equal a point. So we are calling that function, which needs an X and Y coordinate in order to define a point. Then we need the function to draw that point. So we call ACAD dot model space model to access the model space and the function is add point and between a bracket we define the point variable now i want to check if the file is reading the excel correctly so i wanted to print how the python defines the different variables the point number and the X and the Y. So the printed text will be point and then it will insert the point number drawn at and between a bracket, it will print the X value and the Y value. This is just for me to check if it's correctly reading the Excel file. It won't impact the drawing in AutoCAD. Now we need to close the Excel workbook after all the data has been processed. So outside the loop workbook.close. Now we have finished writing the code. Let's now try to run it and see the results. You can see that print out line worked and it showed me, you know, each point number and what sort of coordinate has been picked. And then when I click on AutoCAD, you can see the points are drawn. Now I was thinking to make the code a bit more complex by drawing a line between these points. So I've defined uh, two new 
variables uh, or two new coordinates x2 and y2 so I could have like a starting point and then an end point so I can draw the lines so the way I wanted it to work is to connect these points together that's why I used the, the previous coordinate as a destination point and the original coordinate as a starting point so x1 y1 will be the starting point x2 y2 will be the final point for the last bit I want it to be connected to the first point so I changed that coordinate there now let's go back to the code and see how we can change that code so it works for drawing the line in the first part I don't think we need to change anything because it's just defining AutoCAD making a connection with AutoCAD then defining the worksheet accessing the active workbook and then I think the changes would be within the for loop in particular so for the variables we need to change the variables so we can add the destination points so I'll change x to x1 y to y1 and then I need to add a couple of new variables which is x2 and y2 so it can be defined from the added columns that I added lately which will define the you know the final coordinates so the x2 value would be the row value in the column number three and the y2 is going to be the row value in column number four remember the numbering of the columns start from zero so just to avoid confusion now in the point definition we need again to do some modification because the x and y variables are no longer there so i would convert this to a comment i don't need to draw the point for now now i will define the start point using the a point class and by defining inside it the x and x1 and y1 coordinates similarly i need to define the second point or the final point using the x2 and y2 coordinates i don't need that line to draw the point because there is no definition to the, for the point i could define you know the first point or the second point there to draw them but for now i'll just convert it to a comment by adding just the hash key at the start now we need to draw the line in autocad between the start and second points so the function there to use is acad dot model dot add line and just the line the l is capital we need to define the starting point and the second point it's just like in autocad when you draw a line you need a starting point and then a second point to do that now for the print check i would change from point to line the text and it will print the point number i could probably you know change the variable name there because it's no longer points it's lines and i can call it line number and change it in the print statement and instead of saying drawn at probably drawn between x1 y1 and x2 y2 now back to the excel you can see now we have defined now the point id and x1 x2 x y1 y2 now let's go and run the code and see the results you can see now the lines are drawn which connecting all the points in the excel file i could do a slight change just to visualize the points as well so i would probably define the starting point and if i run the code it will draw it will show the starting point positions along with the lines the last thing to show you is the use of sleep function from the time library so first i will import the time library then inside the loop and after the processing of the row i would call the time.sleep function and the value between bracket is half which basically means just pause the execution of the code by half a half seconds this will happen between processing each row now I'll go back to run the code and you can see now every half second how the lines are drawn between the points. 
So you can see the start and the end. And it's basically taking the rows one by one and drawing them in, in AutoCAD. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Check out these other videos for more Python and AutoCAD tips. Let's keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible in design. See you in the next one.